chicken. I mean, do that kind of show tonight. I mean, you did a little bit of everything. So. Um, yeah, I got two home games left. Uh, I had a little short in season. Went by fast, so I'm trying to make up for it. But um, not making up for a way is in personal stats. I'm doing it. I want to do it as a team. Um, I feel like, like I told you before, this is probably the closest team or, or the best chemistry I've had since I've been here in four years and just guys hanging out with each other and, and getting along with each other and, and not caring who scores, and I think that's why we'll be successful. Casey, you get more comfortable now with your role. It seems you were really solid there, got some rebounds, really gave a lift off the bench. Yeah, I'm getting more comfortable. You know, coach is starting to, I guess, trust me more. So it's really helping me just go out there and be confident. AJ, you know, he helps me all the time just to be confident, and a lot of the guys do to help lift me up, you know, so that really helps. Casey, Coach talked about the weight you put on, the muscle you put on. Can you tell the difference from where you were at the beginning of the year to where you are now? Oh, uh, yeah, I can. When I first got here, I was getting pushed around easier, you know. But Ben put me about 15 pounds on, so it's really helped me out. Mm -hmm. AJ, the uh, start of the second half, not so good for you guys. They, they caught up. Um, mm -hmm. And then a couple of threes out of you and, and Marcus. Uh, what, what, what was the difference in the first four or five minutes and then all of a sudden? Um, well, I, I feel like the other games, we, we actually were the ones that hit uh, first. But um, I, I don't think it was anything that we did really bad turnover-wise. I think that we had great shots. They just weren't falling, and that happens. And um, You know, as, as the leader, sometimes you got to kind of pull it out and try and get it down low to Keith because uh, I think we got to play inside out um, all the time. I think we feed off Keith and, and all these big games. Um, you know, he started us off the Marshall game, the Memphis game. Um, so we need to get him the ball as, as much as we can and as many times as we can. Hey, Jake, can you talk about the resiliency of this team after losses this season? I'm sorry, what did you say? Can you talk about the resiliency of this team after losses this year? Um, I mean, it's been great. You know, I feel like the years before, we kind of, people would go in their different clicks and go different ways. And, you know, just I feel now if we, if we're away, if we lose, we'll go in the hotel and as a team we'll talk about stuff, we'll figure what we did wrong, and we'll come in the locker room and instead of saying, oh, you know, you missed a shot, you got to do this, you know, everyone's fine with each other. We kind of come together and we say, we had the game, you got, you know, just step up, do this, and in a way that people can't get mad, in a way that others, it doesn't offend others, and I think that's what's, what's so great about it, is that you can talk to one another, because people are maturing and, and people are getting older, rather than, you know, the year before, two years ago, where you told somebody they put their head down, and it was kind of just like, oh, you know, you're trying to get taught me. So uh, I definitely think that it's just, the mindset that we have now, knowing that you know, in, in every game, we have a chance if we play together and if we play hard. AJ, I think tonight was your 90th career start. Does that numbers like that blow you away? That what you've done over four years? My legs probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My body's almost gone, but um, man, it goes by fast. Feels like yesterday I was sitting here with JT, mm -hmm. um, but I'm speechless. You know, I got two games left here. Um, if I could do it again, you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pick anywhere else. But UCF has been like second home to me, um, and it's just great being with the guys. I, I could talk into it, but I'll probably get sentimental, and start crying or something. So <laughs> I'll leave it at that. <laughs> AJ, can you talk a little bit about you know when Casey or anyone comes in off the bench immediately gets a bucket or a rebound and how big that is for you guys? Well, that's huge. Um, you know, Casey. What I love about Casey, and it's not just him, but the other guys, but mostly Casey is. There's games where he won't play at all. He'll play five minutes a game, he'll play 15 minutes, 20 minutes. But the thing with him is he stays confident. You know, there's no, oh, well, I didn't play this game, you know, whatever, I'm not going to come to practice and work hard. And I think that's the most important thing is when you have that mindset that, you know, I didn't play, I didn't play as much as I wanted this game, I'll come back and work even harder. I think that's how Casey is, that's how the freshmen are. And, and that's how a lot of the guys on the team are is because they want it. You know, like I, like I tell you guys all the time that you go at the, into the gym at 11, 12 o'clock at night and there's six or seven guys in there. I just think that's the difference when you have people who want it rather than people who just talk about it. Guys, yeah, this game was a little bit chippy, I would say, uh, throughout most of it. Um, how do you keep from, you know, when they're throwing elbows and giving little extra shots, how, how do you keep from retaliating and, um, you know, hitting them? Um, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just. I don't really feed into the extra stuff, you know. We have a goal to win and, you know, to do everything we can to win. And I think that just takes away, you know, that helps them out a little bit, you know. If we get, if we get a technical or something, that's something they want, that's momentum for them. So, to me, I don't really even feed into that at all. And we talked about it. We talked, in, we talked as a group, as a team. Um, you know, we've had our meetings with the whole team, with all the coaches. And, 
and talked about in different situations where Crit's talking to the ref, we grab him, you know, and in instances like that, or if I'm saying something to the ref, they're going to grab me. I think it's something that you've got to eliminate because during a game, there's so much going on. If you if you try and get in with the officials or if you try and, you know, you beg your way for calls, you're not going to get them. So we're basically, with what we have on the court, that's what we're going to fight with. So we let all that go and we continue to fight and, you know, we can't let that get to us. AJ, the game, the game overall, some good parts, some bad parts. Uh, are you guys getting better here at the end? Or is, is, is thing, are things coming together here at the end? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, there's going to be, we haven't played in a week. I mean, it's not an excuse, but, um, you know, that's what happens sometimes if you don't play for a whole week. Uh, you practice, 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 and then you end the game, you have some, you know, problems or whatnot. But, I mean, that's basketball. You know, 40, no one's going to play a perfect 40 minutes. You see it all around college basketball. Or, the NBA, there's no perfect game, so um, we'll learn from that, we'll watch film, and uh, we'll go from there and fix the mistakes. Thanks, guys.